Hi. My name's Saf, and I'm gonna talk to you today about macaroni and cheese. As you can see, there are different things around me. I moved. Bleh. I moved into a new place. I'm tired. Leave me alone. So, mac and cheese. What's that about mac and cheese? Oh, I'm a bendy piece of pasta. Bathe me in cheese sauce and eat me because I'm cheap. And you're a college student. It's like it has some sort of magical culinary power. Does anybody actually even really like mac and cheese, or is it just the thing that, like, hey, it's a baka box. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. But this is my new place. That wall is made of purple. That's outside. I don't know what outside looks like, but that's outside. And if I scooch back, it looks like I'm on an episode of Touched by an Angel. My name is Bartholomew. I am the angel. Awesome. Hi. Well, let's get down to business. Mac and cheese is the kind of food you make when you don't want to have to make real food. So I take this, and I take this. I chuck it in a bucket, stir it, and voila! So there was this one time I was hanging out with a friend of mine, John, and we were making mac and cheese. There wasn't any milk. We really Realize this too late. We're fingers like that. So we're looking around his apartment. What can we find? I don't know. What can we find? Hey, look! I found something. What did you find? Dr. Pepper. And I know what you're thinking. Dr. Pepper and mac and cheese. You crazy. But no, we made that mac and cheese with that Dr. Pepper. It was probably the best mac and cheese I've ever eaten in my life. Would I? Safa, lie to you, the internet. I know where you sleep at night. Just trust me. Next time you make mac and cheese, make it with Dr. Pepper. You'll thank me later for it. Here's mac and cheese. Here's mac and cheese. Here's something that tastes like you didn't eat it out of a bucket growing mold. Mac and cheese with Dr. Pepper's about right here. It's worth your time, my friends. Not mac and cheese. So it doesn't mean anything when you are at a grocery store and you bond with a pretty cashier over the years. If I'm back at that grocery store, I will keep you guys posted. I think. We'll see. And that has been the part of the show that has absolutely nothing to do with anything. So tune in next week. Same Safa time, same Safa channel.